Hey everyone, this is Dr. Israel with Integrative Kidney Institute, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the link between selenium and kidney health. We know that selenium has been, or selenium deficiency has been linked to thyroid problems, has been linked to cancer and heart disease. But what do we know about the link between selenium and kidney health? So let's do this. But before we begin, make sure you press the subscribe button and the notification button so that YouTube notifies you when a new video comes out on our channel. Selenium is actually classified as a trace element. It is incorporated in the structure of something called selenoproteins, or these are protein that has selenium in it. And the most important one that we know of is glutathione peroxidase. It's an enzyme that work on the glutathione, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. So the main function of selenium is actually protect the body from oxidative stress. So the question is, what is oxidative stress first and how selenium can protect from it? So we cannot talk about oxidative stress without talking about glutathione. Basically, glutathione is a substance made of uh, three amino acids, cysteine, glycine, and glutamic acid. And it present in this, it's present in the cell in two forms, the reduced form, or GSH, and the oxidized form, which is GSSG. Basically, glutathione will help the cell in fighting oxid oxidative stress and free radicals. It helps, it interact with other proteins. It also helps in cell signaling and uh, recycling of other antioxidants and, and also help in metabolism. So you can see in this graph that it's present in the cell in this cycle between the reduced form of glutathione and the oxidized form. And basically when you see that when it's exposed to free radicals or the oxidative stress, it will end up forming the oxidized glutathione by the enzyme glutathione peroxidase, which is a selenoprotein. And then it will end up being reduced back by glutathione reductase. So normal level of selenium in the body is actually about 70 to 150 nanogram. And studies have shown that increasing level of selenium were associated with decreased mortality up to a level of 130 nanogram per ml. And selenium is actually absorbed in the small intestine by active transport. And we mostly absorb most of the selenium that is um, you know, taken. Uh, aging, smoking, alcohol consumption can affect the absorption of selenium. And food that is high in selenium include Brazil nuts, seafood, organ meat. And selenium in the food comes as an inorganic form or organic form bound to methionine, or cysteine forming like selenomethionine. And the retention of organic form of selenium in the body is much higher. So low selenium, low serum level of selenium has been associated with acute kidney injury, chronic kidney disease, cardiovascular disease in, in kidney patient, and cardiovascular disease independent of kidney patient, and also cancer. And studies have shown that using selenium as a support supplement, protect the kidneys from ischemic injury, which occur when the kidneys are de deprived from oxygen. So basically, this is called ischemic kidney disease. So studies after studies show that selenium repair the DNA damage, it uh, prevents apoptosis, it's, it acts as an immunomodulator, it acts uh, also as antioxidant, and also decrease inflammation and reduce oxidative stress. So how is that relevant for our kidney patients? So actually the kidneys and the thyroid glands have the highest concentration of selenium in the body. And studies have shown that selenium supplementation can lead to reduce oxidative stress and inflammation in the kidneys. An elderly patient who were supplemented with selenium and CoQ10 were found to have an improvement in their kidney function, actually. The, the dose that was used in these studies was 200 microgram per day. And also selenium has been found to protect the kidneys from heavy metal toxicity. It's been found to 
decrease the toxicity of arsenic and cadmium. And this is actually related to the antioxidant activity of selenium containing enzymes such as glutathione peroxidase, as we mentioned earlier. And also selenium has been found to protect the kidneys from the toxicity of mercury. Now, on the other side of things, selenium toxicity has been reported when someone ingested an over-the-counter liquid supplement containing 200 times the labeled amount of selenium. And chronic exposure to high dose of selenium can have its own toxicity. So the signs are garlic breath, metallic taste, hair loss, brittle nail, mottled teeth, fatigue, irritability. So how do you know if you're selenium deficient? You can measure oxidative stress in patients with kidney disease, and this can be accomplished by two ways. Measuring the GSH to GSSG ratio. So we mentioned earlier, the GSSG is the form of glutathione that is exposed to, anti to oxidative stress. So when you have high GSSG, that means you have higher oxidative stress. In healthy cells, this ratio is actually more than 100. So you'll have more GSH than GSSG. And it dropped to less than 10 in cells that are exposed to oxidative stress. But this test is actually not widely available. The easy to accomplish test is actually measuring the damage that is caused by free radical. And this can be done by measuring the damage that the free radical can do to protein, lipids, or DNA. So the, the one that is commonly used is measuring urinary 8-hydroxy-2-deoxyguanosine. And this test measure the oxidation of DNA, basically, in the urine. And high level obviously indicate oxidative stress, and it's very commercially available and not too expensive. So if you see someone who has oxidative stress by these tests, you can measure their selenium level and see if they're deficient. The bottom line, selenium deficiency has been linked to oxidative stress and inflammation, two processes that are associated with kidney disease. And adequate selenium status is very essential for kidney health. Patients who are, have kidney disease should aim to take in at least 200 microgram of selenium daily. This can be done through high quality supplement, but also food is medicine. So you can also accomplish this by eating two Brazil nuts a day. So I hope you like this video. If you do, make sure you share it with your loved one and people who may benefit from it.